Olympics are very important. The world coming together. It's, you know, it's like, okay, who's going to put it together this day, at this moment, and at this time? And anything can happen. Anything can happen. <laughs>I spent my first nine months in foster care. And then Francis and Peter Luganus adopted me. I have an older sister. And so I followed her into gymnastics. And then when I turned eight, we moved from Lemon Grove to, uh, to El Cajon. And we had a pool built in our backyard and had a diving board. So I was trying some of my gymnastics stunts off my diving board at home. And so my mom didn't want me to kill myself, so she got me lessons that summer. or something, and when I asked my doctor, you know, that I wanted to do an HIV test uh, anonymously, and so we, he agreed to it. I knew in my heart that at that moment in time, because this was in 1988, uh, that HIV AIDS was a death sentence. And so then when my results came back and they were positive, you know, I, I asked him, you know, well, what, you know, what do I do? Uh, and he, he said, well, what do you want to do? I said, well, I feel like I should like pack up my bags, go home, lock myself in my house and wait to die. And he said, you know, that wouldn't be a real healthy thing to do. <laughs> and so probably the healthiest thing for you is to stay in training. I qualified for AZT, and that was the only medication that we had available to us at that time. The one thing that my doctor told me is, because I was having such a difficult time being compliant, you know, taking it every four hours, I said, well, th this is as important as showing up to your eight o'clock workout. And so then that put it in perspective that I could, I could grasp, I could understand. Everything was going along fine until my ninth dive in the prelims. Thank God it was prelims. Usually, reverse two and a half pike is a really good dive for me. And he hit his head coming past. And then I heard this big hollow thud. And I, I thought, what was that? And then I go crashing in the water and I go, oh, it was my head. Kind of opened up a floodgate for me. It was like, okay, oh my God, what is my responsibility? What do I, you know, what do I do? You know, I knew really the only people that I was possibly putting in danger would be, you know, the doctors who sewed my head up. But it was scary because it was a scary time uh, surrounding HIV/AIDS. odds were against me, really. And to, to be successful and, and, you know, in, I knew that those were my last competitive dives. That was like my swan song. And I really didn't expect to, to see 30. I was 28 at the time. So it was like, okay, this is it. This is my life. grateful for diving and the Olympics. Uh, I think that it has given me a platform to have my voice heard. <laughs>